Today, I want to tell you guys how to get no recoil in Siege. Now, it's not going to be one of those videos where people just go, just shoot at the targets. Like, no, I seriously want to tell you, like, everything that I think that you should do and what attachments to use and how to do everything. Because I feel like recoil control is definitely one of the biggest, you know, things in this game, whether on mouse or on controller. So let me explain. All right, so there's going to be a couple things we're going to do. I think first, to start us off, I think we're going to get into the attachments first so that way you know what to use when you do these warm-ups. Now, let's talk about this real quick. Flash Hider is going to be great for guns with vertical recoil, okay? So this would be great for guns like Twitch. It would be great on that gun. Compensator is mainly meant for horizontal recoil control. So that would be good on most guns because quickly, in my opinion, I feel like controlling vertical recoil control is much easier than controlling horizontal recoil control because in my opinion, I think pulling down on your analog stick is much easier than trying to compensate left to right. So in my opinion, I think Compensator is the best to use on most guns. However, if you have very good recoil control, I would use Extended Barrel on every gun that you possibly can because it will increase the damage. Like for example, do you see this uh, Commando that we have on uh, IQ? If you have an Extended Barrel on this gun, it makes the gun one less bullet to kill. So you can kill them in one less bullet than it normally takes. But if you literally want the least amount of recoil control, use Compensator on most guns. And obviously use the standard grip on every gun that you can. Obviously, on somebody like Twitch, you can't use it. Uh, so I would use Flash Hider on Twitch. I mean, I don't. I use Extended Barrel because I feel like I can control the recoil decently enough to where I'll take the extra damage on the F2. But if you cannot, there is no problem with using Flash Hider at all. Now, I want to break down how to know your recoil control, how to tell what you're struggling with, and how to kind of learn it. Now, I'm going to tell you the first way that I use a lot. Okay, the first thing that you're going to do is you are going to go into a free for all. Do you see this footage? In the background right now whenever you are doing free-for-alls what you want to do is you want to think of a weapon that you are literally terrible with okay or just a gun that you want to improve with because a gun that you want to use but you can't control the recoil you literally just go into a free-for-all which is in the arcade mode and then you go to settings and then you just turn off everything that's not free-for-all and then you just do free-for-alls because here's the thing when you keep doing these free-for-alls you're going to die and you're going to respawn and you're going to take another gunfight and another gunfight and you're constantly taking gunfights right there's always people there you're always responding so that is 150 million percent the best way to improve your recoil control because you are trying out whatever fucking operator you want to try out and you're able to just go crazy and you know make mistakes but instantly get to fix them because you respawn in right away so it is great like i'm telling you if you start doing free-for-alls, not only will your recoil get better, but your aim will get better. Your reaction time will get better. Everything, because you're constantly taking gunfights and you're constantly making mistakes and you're constantly fixing those mistakes because you just died and you go, damn, my recoil control was bad there. Let me pull down a little more. And guess what? You get to try that right away again. And it's better than doing fucking T-hunts because the T-hunt bot is going to stand there like an idiot. Okay, so versing people who are going to be running around like maniacs. If you can get used to that, then you can get used to when you actually play the game where people are not running around like maniacs to get do in free-for-all. So it'll be a lot easier. Now, if you're not a free-for-all type person or you just don't have time to do a free-for-all because sometimes I don't, this is what you do, okay? You come into this, the regular shooting range and this one is really good for just seeing your recoil control. So if you want to just shoot at it, right? You can sit there and just keep practicing shooting at it. You just sit here and you just shoot. This is me on Twitch with the extended barrel, no flash hider or anything. It's not too bad. It's all vertical. Like, all you have to do is pull down. It's not very, very little horizontal recoil. Like, it's that's why I always use flash hider if I cared about recoil control. Now, another thing that you can do is this. Put these settings on. You want the dummies to be at random distance. And you want four. That's all that really matters. And put it to, like, 120. Now, doing this, I can see where I struggle with recoil, right? If I sit here, and I'm really good at recoil up close, right? And now let's just say, for example, I tried to shoot this guy out back and I went like this, bro. Like, okay, obviously not like that. But like, you know, if, if my aim was shit like that or like, like if my recoil control was really bad at far range, what I would do is I would sit here and I would go options and I'd be like, hmm, I'm really good at close range, but I'm terrible at far range. Okay, let me put the target distance on far. Then I press begin and now they're all on far. So now I can specifically see what I'm struggling with and specifically target that recoil control and constantly warm up with that so now i can get better at further range recoil control by just doing this because i've already learned what i suck at those guys are hard to hit i won't lie to you 
but you learn that and you learn the patterns and you learn what to do so it's really nice now another thing that you need to do because obviously people are not always just standing still you want to go to this right and you want to make it on sprint or even random if you'd like but I, for this i'm gonna do sprint so we can right away understand it so now with this one we want to see how can we hit targets that are moving how is our recoil control while it's moving right now this one you literally just want to find out where do you suck right are you really good up close or strafing and you know tracking them while controlling recoil or are you shit and now let's say we're really bad at far range again right let's say like we cannot hit them to save the life for us so all you do is then put it on sprint and put it on far because now you want to be able to trace the person while they're running okay so now i'm going to sit here i'm just going to practice this practice the recoil control while they're on far distances and it's okay if you're literally horrible like if you are shit, that is fine there's no one judging you. It's only up from here. You want to practice this stuff. You want to get better. So I promise you, if you do this, you're able to focus on, you're able to find out what you're bad at doing this. So start doing this. Now, another huge thing with recoil control is your sensitivity. If you are constantly, and I mean constantly, changing your damn sensitivity, your recoil control is going to be shit. Okay, if I, as somebody who does a lot of sensitivity videos, when I first use a sensitivity, my recoil control, unless it's a sensitivity that is close to mine, is not always that good. I have to usually take a round or two in that game to kind of learn it or even just shoot at a wall and try and figure it out. And the same thing can be said for your own sensitivity. If you constantly are changing it, you are never going to learn the patterns of recoil control because with your sensitivity, you learn how much you need to pull down, right? For example, if I was on a really fast ADS sense, I would have to pull down way less versus if I was on a very slow ADS sense, which is just not slow because I have advanced settings on so it makes it much faster so don't roast me but if i was on this sensitivity with no advanced settings i would have to pull down way more versus high sensitivity way less so if you're always changing it you can never learn how much you need to actually be pulling down now once again real quick in case you don't know my sensitivity these are the advanced settings i use they're beautiful you don't need to use them i'm just showing you so i don't get roasted now listen if you if you just stick to a sensitivity you will get way better you get way better i promise you you get way better to stop changing it, okay? Even if you're shit, just go do free-for-alls. If you suck on your sensitivity, go do free-for-alls. I promise you, you will get better. That is truthfully all you have to do. Like, if you literally just follow what I said in these settings, especially free-for-all, especially free-for-all, police, the love of God, just do free-for-alls, you will get so much better with your recoil, with your sensitivity, with your movement, with every damn thing in the world you can think of in Siege. You'll get better. So please, as of right now, after you're done watching this video, go play free-for-all, okay? And do before rank games too. It'll help you so much, I promise. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. Hopefully this did help. Let me know what other tips you guys want to see. I'm going to be posting so much this week on YouTube and for the rest of August. We're grinding this week or this month on YouTube. But I will see y'all. I love you. You're beautiful. Mwah. <laughs>